東ドイツは森が大変多いので素敵な機能を持ちます<笑>まずはこちらご覧くださいさ落ち着いてて雰囲気にしっかりうまいもんなこうやってどうぞこうやって Stage, officials from the Buckingham Palace traveling entourage. Shut up! <laughs> hey, I'm dreadfully sorry, sir. I just can't control these things. They're, they're all over the place. Well, listen. <laughs> Their findings. Stacy Allison is standing by at North Little Rock City Hall with a live report. She'll have that live report shortly. A Little Rock firefighter. Now we're ready for Stacy with her live report from a Little Rock. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Part two, Sean's got 160 pounds, Tracy's got 510 pounds, and I've got a pull in my, in my mouth, I'm sorry. <laughs> I swallowed it and it came back up. I cut all my ties with Clive. You cut all my ties once, I remember. That was when you were being beastly to me about the telephone bill. Well, it was over a thousand pounds. I was trying to get that carpet from Morocco. I could have lashed it to a camel and brought it back in the QE2, Chief. I could have never known anybody harbour a grudge for so long. It was so embarrassing to explain that my husband had put a lock on the telephone. Well, I am no longer your telephone. <laughs> Powerful fire in Saanich tonight led to a fairly widespread power outage in some areas of Saanich and Gordon Head. The power should be back on in all areas. In some it may not, uh, which is redundant, of course, because if it isn't, then there's no television. <laughs> We're talking about until about 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, about a half an inch to a quarter of an inch in the plains, uh, about a half an inch... Excuse me, I haven't had to sneeze like that on the air in many moons. Uh... Hello. Like the car? I've only borrowed it, of course, and I'll tell you why later. I'm in the northeast of Scotland on the way down to the lovely old town of... What's it called? <laughs> <laughs>
as early as I can. Love you. Love you too. Sun count. You lost Bo a long time ago. I didn't lose him. I let him go. You're not thinking of changing your mind, are you? I suffered a great loss in Alexander. Victor, please, let's not go through the hell of fighting over Bo again. Well, you and I were very close at one time, and I don't want to hurt you. Well, then don't. But I've come to realize <clears throat> that the one thing that I can't replace that is my voice. Is that work? And if I don't come back engaged, my name's not Gloria Stubbs. No, it's not. It's Doreen. <laughs> Ken. Gonna obey you. I will never, ever, ever obey you. Shut up. No, I'm not gonna shut up. What are you gonna make me because you're stronger? That's really what it comes down to, doesn't it? Is that you're physically stronger than I am. Listen, Julia, don't push me, all right? Don't. I forgot to tell you that bullet doesn't have any guns in it. Detective Inspector Trotter is called from the yard to find out who killed the young man. The only clue to the murderer's identity is a used and discarded hypodemic nurdle. <laughs> the government of Bahrain has appealed to international help to fight the giant oil slip. <laughs> and those are the headlines. I'm back dressed up for 3.15 with more news. Good afternoon. There's the bell again, stopping me in my tracks. Ward's tight. Five in the lead once again, Simon. I wonder, Simon, on 50. Can we tempt you with this, perhaps? Get rid of your grater, part with your peeler, and chuck your chopper. Because food preparation can now be quick and simple. <laughs> Bob and John have all kinds of marvelous modern devices here to help you kick the smoking habit. But the main thing they do is instill in you a very positive attitude, and then they reinforce that attitude. No wonder they have so much sex. Six. <laughs> so it's back to London then. Well, what are we going to go home for? If I go, I've got to decorate the fence. Decorate the fence. <laughs> John? Very scandalous. Ulrika's in fit freak over here, giggling away at these uh, various characters. <laughs> I enjoyed it much. Um, <clears throat> I'm enjoying it just as much as I did last night. <laughs> I didn't want to say that, did I? No. <laughs> anyway, otherwise... <laughs> There's a high pressure over us. <laughs> I could um, start to the day. So I'm not a fog and frost around. I have quite a few shows to agree on. Eastern coast of Scotland and England. I'm soft to do We'll read to run. And everyone sells his own. Stay there. Let's enjoy this. Stay there. <laughs> um, solving people's inverted commas bat problems um, it means that I can actually handle wild bats <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
I'm going to... No, that's the head. Oh, sorry. Actually, it would matter which way this one went. It looks the same, doesn't it? Both ends. Mm. And I'm going to extend the tail by putting some sticky on there and a bit of green... Bye-bye, dinosaur. I think he's extinct. <laughs> Anthony Dworkin is indeed in Poland waiting for us right now with American President George Bush about to arrive later today. Uh, Anthony, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? I can just, just hear something, yeah. Yes. Can you hear that it's me, for instance? <laughs> no. I, I, can, I can hear a voice. I can't recognise it. All anything. right. <laughs> well, uh, let's, uh, let me just yell a simple question, then. Uh, we'll try yelling a simple question to Anthony and see if this works. Is this a difficult <laughs> visit for George Bush? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I'm not hearing anything just at the moment. All right, well, uh, I, suppose it's, I suppose it's reasonable that you can't shout from London and be heard in Warsaw, <laughs> isn't it? Well, it's just that university is really an extension of school and I'm fed up with being treated like a kid. Take your feet off the table. See? You want to say that to Bill? Yes, I would. Bill, she got her laces tied up together. <laughs> Brian may know all these fascinating bits of wonderful info, but I bet there's something I can do that he can't. Oh, yeah, what's that? <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> I can't do that either. You can! I can't. You can, you can! I can't, I can't! You can, I can't! <laughs> That's all I need is five minutes. After that, the visit's aborted. And I hope you've got broad shoulders because you're carrying a can, my friend. Okay. <laughs> hey, slow down. Bloody farmers. 